Soft proofing means viewing an on-screen preview of how your image will look when printed on a specific printer and paper type, and is done using print profiles which can be downloaded from the PrintSpace website and installed into Photoshop. There's a different profile for each printer and paper combination we offer. Images are usually stored in standard RGB profiles such as Adobe 1998 RGB or sRGB, and soft proofing means converting from these standards to the desired print profile. When an image is soft proofed in Photoshop, the software substitutes the colors that the printer can't reproduce on the paper selected with ones it can. Incidentally, the range of color that a device can reproduce is called its gamut. The gamut of a screen is larger than the gamut of the printer, which means the screen can show you more colors than you can get on your print. So the conversion to a print profile usually means color being removed from an image. So, to start the process, please go to our website and download the print profiles and save them into the correct folder, which for Mac is here, and for PC is here. Now, you're ready to soft proof using Photoshop. Firstly, open your image in Photoshop, then select View, Proof Setup, Custom. A pop-up box will appear entitled Customize Proof Condition. Make the following selections. For Custom Proof Condition, select Custom. For Device to Simulate, select the profile that corresponds to the device and paper type you wish to soft proof. For example, if we want to print a C-type gloss print, we select Print Space C-type Gloss. Next, select the rendering intent. There are only two rendering intents that you should use, relative color metric or perceptual. Perceptual will be better at holding shadow detail, but may cause slight tonal shifts across the image, whereas relative color metric will hold the exact tone in the image, but conversely may cause a slight loss of shadow detail. If you're unsure as to which rendering intent to use, why not try out both and see which one gives you the best on-screen result. Next, make sure black point compensation is checked and leave Simulate Paper Type and Simulate Black Ink unchecked. Finally, ticking the preview box will reveal the on-screen soft proof, and then unticking the box reverts it back to the original file. Clicking the preview on and off in quick succession will help you to notice any areas of the image which will be affected by the conversion. If you're not happy with the soft proof, go back to the original file and make adjustments and repeat the soft proof process until you're happy and are ready to send your image to print. In order to print, you should convert your file to the print profile and save it down. This can be done by selecting Edit, Convert to Profile. Use the same settings that you used to preview and click OK. When saving the file, remember to rename it so as not to save over the master file, as unlike the soft proof preview, converting to profile is a one-way process. We suggest appending the file name with the print and paper type it's been profiled for.